All right, so Hispanic heritage is always on display at El Museo de Barrio. And this year, it's really taken on a whole new meaning due to the pandemic, of course. And you guys should not be shocked that as a proud New Yorican, El Museo holds a really special place in my heart, especially with its latest exhibit, Taller Boricua. Yeah, so this morning we're joined by Rodrigo Mora, who's the chief curator of El Museo and the man behind the new exhibit. Good morning, Rodrigo. Hi, good morning. Morning. All right, so before we talk about this new exhibit, let's talk about the museum because you have stayed afloat over the last six months during this pandemic. How have you been doing that? That's right. I mean, it's been a learning moment for all of us at El Museo uh, since we had to close during a citywide lockdown in March. Uh, but since then, we have been uh, very successfully engaging with our audience through our online platform. Oh, good. Uh, online exhibitions, social media, a lot of online program as all of us. Yeah. So it's been actually an opportunity to continue to be connected with our audience. Yeah, we're seeing time. we're seeing some museums around the city start to reopen. So are you in fact reopen and any restrictions we, with how many visitors you can have inside at a time? We are and uh, and uh, we're very happy to have reopened our doors a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we are now open Saturdays and Sundays at a limited capacity uh, from 12 to 5. Uh, face coverings uh, required for all visitors and a uh, number of around 50 visitors per day. Mm. Rodrigo, you're the chief curator of this Taller Boricua, and I wonder if you can explain to folks who aren't necessarily familiar with uh, the role it plays in the community, what is Taller Boricua and what role does it play? The Taller Boricua is an artist uh, collective workshop and an alternative space that opened in East Harlem in 1969 and 1970 and has been since uh, played a major role in uh, the promotion of, culture, uh, of uh, Puerto Rican culture and the arts for the community in New York and beyond. So it's really a focal point of the New Yorican arts movement and this show is a deep dive into their contribution uh, especially in the 70s and early 80s. I can tell you as the daughter of two proud Puerto Ricans who came over to the mainland in the 50s, part of the Young Lords movement, there was a lot of talk about Afro-Latino and the Taino influence. And I can see over your right shoulder, there is the Taino prominently displayed. So how important uh, is this artwork to the, to the community at large? Huge, huge, uh, major importance. So part of uh, what the Taller Boricua was doing through their art and through their education and through their activities was really connecting uh, the, the community in the diaspora with Taino heritage, with uh, Afro-Latino heritage, with uh, creating like a political education, a cultural education for those living uh, in, the, in the diaspora, in the mainland. Yeah, the I wanted to ask you about that because there is a lot of political artwork. Why was that political education really important and why did you want that part of this exhibit? Well, this is really what, uh, I, I could not do this exhibition without telling this history and that's what's really fascinating, uh, fascinating about it is that this really, the activism uh, as an artistic, practice right this is there's an almost like an overlap of the political space of the activist space and of the static space and the artistic space so printmaking was a main tool that they have been employed uh, employing in their in their art making as a way to make images of self-determination messages mm -hmm. of self of self-determination circulate uh throughout the community in their exhibits and uh, conferences and activities. Uh, how many pieces, we're seeing a lot of them on the screen right now, how many pieces are actually on display and, and how'd you track them all down? Because that's a feat in itself, really. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's very interesting because it's over 150 objects oh, wow. in the show by more than uh, 25 artists. Uh, and because the El Museo and the Taller Boricua, they shared a common history as activists uh, New Yorican uh, organizations uh, being born in New York around the same time, they share a common history 
and the museum actually managed to collect several of these works over the years because they shared members, the artists were very generously donating artworks to the museum's collection. And then uh, also the Taira Boricua has a wonderful archive and we complemented that with other museum loans and private collection loans. Very nice. Hey, congrats on the exhibit. Thank mm -hmm. you for coming on and explaining some Thank of this during so Hispanic it's Heritage Month. Thank you so much. Terrific to be Thanks, here. Rodrigo. Yeah. Absolutely. Best of luck. It. And by the way, uh, I was watching.